So Dad, tell us a little bit about cotton. In 91, we had 40 acres in Greenwood that we... Stop, stop, I'm gonna hit the turtle. Yep. Keep, keep talking, keep talking. He's toting the turtle out of the field where he won't run it with the planter. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're taking the corn plates that were in this planter and putting in the cotton plates. So what is a plate? So these little grooves here, that's what the cotton seed will actually fall in. This is the cotton. That's the cotton, okay, yeah. So that spins around, your vacuum sucks it. The seeds actually suck to those two little divots and then it spins around and drops them. There's the corn plate. So that's the corn plate. And right there's the cotton plate. And it is raining again. Rain, rain, go away. Good news, we got it all hooked up. We had a minor issue with the hydraulic hose, but we got that fixed. Our hydraulic motors are churning. So as soon as this rain gets out of the way, hopefully it won't rain too much, we'll be able to start planting cotton. All right, we're gonna start planting cotton today. As you can tell, very small seeds. That's why we can go so much further planting cotton. A bag of cotton would take me about seven acres, where a bag of peanuts would take me about seven feet. So we're gonna load all 12 hoppers. Hop, hop. Hoppers. We're gonna load all 12 hoppers with just a little bit of seed. Then we're gonna spin the hydraulic motors, check them out, make sure everything's dropping. And then we'll go ahead and put the rest of the all 12 bags. Good news, so they all dropped. So that means we're gonna put all 12 bags in. Now. I've been planting cotton all day long while I sing the song. And Howdy ho ho! This is our first field, a little 20 acre field, then I'm gonna move over to a 65 acre field. We can plant peanuts, we can plant corn, we can plant cotton, we can even plant marijuana with this. What I'm gonna do now is adjust my seed depth. The last thing we planted with this planter was corn, so we plant corn a lot deeper than cotton. This is this how you adjust your seed. And you can move those. The further up you go will be the shallower you plant it. And with cotton, you've really got to get your depth right. You don't want to be too deep then it won't come up or you don't want to be too shallow. Number three is my vacuum. Number two is my hydraulic motors. So instead of getting out and spinning a tire like you do on a older planter that's driven by a chain, this is how simple this is. You just press this button. Now let's go make sure that we drop seed. Oh, big jump. I already checked it once before we left, but I just want to make sure. It's like we got seed. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Make sure I'm good and straight. Got a number three that's saying it's not putting out near enough for some reason. It's only showing 19,000, which I need to be around 33, 35,000. Yeah, I gotta change with roof leaders. All right, let's go check this out. That's where Keepy got bogged down. My hose looks good, my seal looks good. Could just be those first day planting jitters. You notice I've got my row cleaners here which clean out any trash, any stubble, like if you're planting in uh, oats or through wheat. I dropped those down, but I dropped them down too low. So I'm gonna raise those up. Three down. And I got the expert coming. I got Chris telling me what I need to do. It's half the time, I'm just guessing. I'm here with Chris Tyus, yep. as people call him CT. And uh, he's our crop consultant helping us out. Chris, what we got going on today? Planting some cotton. We got the planter hooked up, got it rolling. We had a little issue with a third hopper, but we got that figured up. And Chris, if you had any knowledge you could give a cotton farmer when they're planting cotton, what would it be a tip? Don't plant it too deep. Don't plant it too deep. Plant it in moisture. So you'd rather be too shallow than too deep? I would, as long as it's not on top. It'll come up. Control some weeds on a farm. Oh yeah. On farms that we've never controlled before. I just ruined Wes's tape. Can't have nothing nice. Can it go back up in there? No, it will not. Hey, come on, Chris, fix it. You can do it. I say it, dude. Here, show them how to do it. All right, Chris, so we've got a 14 and a half foot spot, right? Yep. And we're going to count all the cotton seed, and that'll tell us how many seeds per acre we got. That tells our population. Our population. Yeah, I got a, I've got a well, tape good. there you can have. It. Just roll it up. This is called a There you go. With a 12 row, we can cover ground so quick. You know how quick? 
quick. Faster than a cheetah? Yes. A cheeto chip? A cheeto chip? No. What is it? A cheeto chip! <laughs> Did you just hit your head? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Totally, dude. Gnarly, dude. What? What he did? Where's Cassidy? Oh. Oh yeah, I could've ate so much for lunch. You gonna sweep all the dirt up for me, Cassie? Yeah. <laughs> he just put it on Atlas. All right, y'all ready for how to find cotton seed 101? There's no chemicals out here. We're not spraying behind the planter with chemicals, so we're pretty safe. So girls, what you wanna do first? Yeah, oh look, you already Aww, found it. It's glitter. It's a little baby, yep. So just take and just kind of lightly just start raking back. Keep going. You can see it. The old kiddos wanted to stay and play in the dirt. Imagine that. Well, what y'all find? Jeez, girl, we gonna have any cotton to come up? Yeah. That means you get. Nice. Let's load up, troops. Run! Faster! Cassidy, show them your cotton seeds that we got. Nice. And tell them what you hope that it grows into being. Um, cotton candy. So you hope the cotton grows to be cotton candy? Truly, don't we all? Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, so we are... Almost done with this field. It's only 20 acres. Didn't take long doing the last end row now. All right, girls. Well, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you can ride your car. Y'all want some more cotton seed? Yeah, yeah. All right, come back here. I'll hook you up. Time to quit playing and start playing. Getting all these cool shots really eats up a lot of time. I'm really out of shape. So if we have moisture, we're always planting the dry land fields first. When I plant cotton, I go 5.5 miles per hour. Hold on, time to turn. Let me put this right here. Lift my lift up. Hit my brake just a little bit. Don't take out that. Skip 36 feet. Lock onto my line. I got ants crawling on me. And perfect. All right, where was I? Jeez, it is so windy, it is blowing my hopper lids off. Look at that, look at that. Whoosh, look at that. Good thing we don't have any small cotton that's about an inch too tall. It would be cut in half. With the wind and the sand, it's like a razor blade to baby cotton. We're planting some Delta Pine. 1646 there there's jordan now he's driving a 8330 and we're pulling a 1720 john deere planer it plants 12 rows at a time and we're planting on 36 inches uh each row set that planer down he presses that button and it sets that and it lets that lift down all right you get lined up he's using a we're using tremble guidance to keep us straight uh-oh what's wrong Everything all right? Oh, all right, folks, come on with us. We got a running low on the seed here. Yep, we are getting low. We're about to swap varieties from the Delta Pine 1646 to the new variety, which I believe is the 2058. No, you won't. Just do it. One, two, three. 35,000 strong. And I'm put them in the dirt at the speed of light And I don't know when I'm gonna go home Cause I'm gonna plant cotton till I can't plant 
plant no more I'm almost out of seed But the store is closed But I got a key Ride again and get the ride No, I'll be, I'll walk with you All right, see you later We'll see ya he didn't clean out too much of that bottle. No. He said he could get a little bit closer, but he was a little gun shot. Yeah. <laughs>